Hello, this is VK3 Tango Victor Zulu. Today we um, have finished completing my lightning detector project and I just wanted to do a very quick demonstration uh, and also show you uh, what the unit looks like. Uh, I've made it, um, made the circuit which I followed from um, a guy called Charles uh, from the, the US, I believe he is and um, so I followed his circuit so all credit to him and um, we've d uh, built the circuit up now and put it in my own little case uh, with a signal meter uh, which has been uh, taken out of an old CB radio I uh, assume it was a Pierce Simpson uh, super cheater or something similar to that uh, anyway uh, we'll show you the good stuff now and we'll show you this thing in action. Okay, what we're going to demonstrate now is the meter incrementing uh, up to full scale, which is about 40 to 50 strikes, and uh, we'll watch the decay uh, after we stop the strikes from the uh, um, from the strobe light here. So we'll just plug this strobe light in, which will uh, give. Uh, equivalent types of EMF to the device uh, which it should detect pretty much no problem so we'll do that now now as you can see the meter is now incrementing uh, with each strike detected and in the lower part of the scale the meter does rise pretty quickly but once it hits the 30 mark which it just has now it takes a lot more uh, a lot more strikes uh, to bring it up to full scale deflection we're just about there now we're just on the stop there now so now what we'll do is we'll turn the strobe light off and we'll watch the uh, meter uh, returning this will take a little while Okay, strobe light is off, the meter is just starting to decay now, hopefully you can see that there. Now we're back into the green area on the meter. Very slowly it will return to zero and basically this indicates the intensity of the strikes so if you get a lot of strikes uh, in a very short period of time uh, the deflection on this meter uh, will be quite great uh, it will shoot up fairly quickly and if there's not much activity um, the meter will not not deflect too far um, whoop, something just triggered it then and as you may have seen, the meter has slightly moved forwards again. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, the project works. I'm very happy with that. Uh, we need to do some fine tuning though. Because uh, as mentioned, it seems a little bit too sensitive. Particularly with this wire antenna, which is, I'll lay this out here. It's just standard wire and it's about three meters long uh, just with a, um, a PL529 type connection and there's no earth connection on this particular antenna the wire is just soldered straight in there but we do have some external aerial uh, which we'll try and we'll also experiment more, more with this um, telescopic antenna it's quite obvious though if there is a lightning storm uh, there will be no external antennas connected but it might be useful for uh, detecting storms uh, that are many kilometers away anyway hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching this is VK3 TVZ signing out